after Tuesday's game, the Dodgers have played exactly 80 games. By my math, we're almost halfway mathematically. The All-Star One, break is not halfway two, through the season. It's a lie. Three, four. Does it add up? Five. I'll be in. It'll take me a minute. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we'll get an equal sum going on <laughs> yeah, Excel. Yeah, yeah. All right, fellas. We've got to hand out some <laughs> grades here. So as we did previously when Clint hosted, you get your kind of one or two sentence elevator pitch. But we're going to try to keep this kind of keep this moving. Doug, Doug I'm going to bring you in after Brooke and Clint. You're going to give us the fan grades. From the post game, you are the post game master and kind of your slant. So F's favorites. across the board. I'll just uh, yeah, yeah, for part. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Brooke, we'll start Fire with you. D uh, we'll start with you. We're gonna do three components: bullpen, offense, defense, and of course four components: Dave Roberts. Because why not? So your grade for the bullpen so far this year? I'm giving the bullpen an A. I mean, you look at what they've done, what they've been able to do, kind of piecing things together, backing up the starting rotation when they're injured. Dave Roberts is famously pulling guys early right now and continues to do so. Despite that, despite how overworked they've been, despite the 31 games in 30 days, the 23 games and 24 game stretch, the, they're pulling it together. They're the best bullpen ERA, like I, I think second best in the National League. Um, what they've been able to do with the names that they have available to them, no Blake Trinan, Craig Kimbrell has sucked a load of butts. I mean, all, all things considered, you got to really give it to the bullpen because they are really cruising right now. Clinton Tarantino, what's your review? Of the bullpen. Listen, you can't give them an A because that me leaves no room for improvement. And this is a bullpen yeah, that a has a lot of room for improvement. Sure, the numbers say they've got it done, but how many times is your butthole puckered a little bit when some of these dudes are coming in? It's a solid B minus. They're they're getting the job done. The Dodgers do what they do best. They went out and found some dudes. B for butthole. But they're not the greatest dudes. They don't instill all of the warmth in your heart that we're gonna get this done. B minus for the bullpen. Brooke, offense. I would give the offense an A too because you look at what they've done. You look at the runs per game, best in baseball. You think, of course, this lineup's going to put that up. They're going to do that. But I'm not going to give them an A. I'm going to give them a B minus because it seems Coward. like more often than not, the reason why they're leading in those runs per game is because they're putting up dozens in certain games and then big fat goose eggs in other games or one run games or things mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give them a B minus because there's absolutely room for improvement. We need more consistency. We need that to happen more often on a daily basis. B minus. Since you stole my B minus, I'm going to go C plus because this is a team that has not had a good or consistent JT all year long. A good or consistent Mookie bet, uh, not Mookie bets, the other guy, Max, uh, Max Muncy episode all year long. Even a good and consistent Mookie bets all year long. He had a very bad uh, or a bad for Mookie April, killed it in May, indifferent and hurt in June, and now he's back and he's doing a lot better. But uh, Freddie's killing it. Trey. Trey Turner's killing it. Will Smith is is doing what he does. He's getting bad bipped to death, but you still have strikeout King CT3. I'm going over my time limit here, but C C plus, they got a lot of room to improve. And if you start getting these guys hitting together like a family, they can go to outer space. Because I think that's what happened in the fast movies. I don't know how to watch that. Family. Brooke, how'd you grade the, how'd you grade the leather <laughs> so far this year? The leather, oh boy. You know, there's just something that doesn't feel right about it. Right? Maybe it's just that we're just making the normal plays. You know? We don't see any elite level defense anywhere across the diamond. Trey Turner is not nearly what you kind of had hoped for him to be at shortstop after coming off of the abysmal Corey Seeker shortstop. Bad shortstop, by the way. <laughs> Horrible shortstop. But all things considered, I mean, it just feels very average. You know, it doesn't feel like anything special. It doesn't feel like anything that's going to make you go crazy. To his credit, CT, what a freaking arm, man. So. I don't know. I'm going to give him a C because it just doesn't feel exciting to me. Yeah, it's passing. <laughs> the uh, Isn't that your uh, Tinder review? Like nothing special. What The other words you said. Exactly. Um, just stick to nothing special. B. That's it. They're there. B for defense. <laughs> Trey Turner's gotten better as the season's gone along. Months he's gotten better playing second. He's gotten a, a little more serviceable at third base. JT is solid at third for an old man. For an old man, he is absolutely no Nolan Arenado or even Brooke Me Three, but he still is getting the job over, done over there. Freddie gets the job done over there. Will Smith has turned himself into one of the better catchers in the game. B, always going to be room to improve. All right, let's go with D for Dave Roberts. Your grade for Dave. <laughs> Quickly, because we got we got a cleanup Dave. hitter waiting. Look, I'm giving Dave the uh, I'm giving him the B plus because if I give him an A, I'm pretty sure someone on the stream will find me. That's about it. That's all I got to say about that. A minus, Dave. Keep doing a good job, David. They're coming for you. Now, like his hero, Will Smith. Doug is batting cleanup. Doug, we're gonna run you right through here. The bullpen. 
I would fan say grade the fan grade. Guy. The fan grade, I would say the bullpen based on Craig K- Kimbrell. We saw Crumble. his Craig crumble at times this season. Cardiac Kimbrell. I think they would give him an F. ML because they have been yelling about Kimbrough all season long, even though he hasn't been that bad. You know, when a closer blows saves, they're always magnified, especially on the post game show. Me personally, I'm going to give them a high B. I mean, to me, when you talk about what Evan Phillips has been able to do, you dubbed him Dr. Phil. They're Yancey Almonte. I dubbed him Yancey Almoney. These are guys that they're like the new kids at school. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about grades, lots of substitute teachers going in there, but they're pitching well when you consider the fact you lose. Blake Trinan, you lose Tommy Canely, and you replace Kenley Jansen. I think when you consider the results at the end of the day, a 3-3-4 ERA, they have gotten the job done. So it's a B for me when it comes to the bullpen. How about the offense? The offense is interesting. I still give them a B plus. You look at the top of the order. Like I said, it's like a muffin top, and the bottom of the order is like the bottom of a drumstick. You eat all the way down to get to that drumstick, but the middle part, they haven't performed well. The worst in all of Major League Baseball when it comes to batting average. They're almost like those guys that they didn't pull their weight on the group project, but they're still going to get a high grade because of the top (laughs) and the bottom of the order. So really, when you consider the fact that they haven't performed well, they still have room to grow, I'm going to go with the grade I originally said a few seconds ago but i've forgotten now <laughs> what's what's the fan grade on that the though? fan grade i would say the the, the, the fans are interesting because they're always they always harp on hitting with runners in scoring position and we know that more that, bunts give us more bunts they they like their bunts they like their situational hitting and yeah if you look at the dodgers slugging is down there I think like 10 or 12th in hitting with runners in scoring positions. So some of their clutch stats haven't been great this season. I think the fans would probably give them a solid B, though, because they're all, they're still hyped on Freddie Freeman, still hyped on Trey Turner, and then Mookie Betts, of course, having the season that he's having. All right, so B-plus from you, B from the fans. More importantly, better drumstick, caramel or fudge? I'm going with the fudge. Nice take. I'm a big – I like – I'm not going to say I'm a fudge yeah, packer, yeah. but like <laughs> – like uh, deep, how would you grade the defense? The defense, I think, across the board. You mentioned Trey Turner. One theory I have is he needs to change his old glove. He's got that T-web. Sometimes you see on the exchanges he struggles with it because he's getting to balls. Sometimes it just doesn't come out of the glove clean. But, yeah, the defense, for the most part, Cody Bellinger, I think, has had a resurgent year. I always say he covers more room, more ground than a Roomba in a mansion out there in the outfield. But Chris Taylor, his offense has been down this season. If you look at his DRS, his defensive war, Mookie Betts, He's played well, but I think all in all, I'll give the defense. I mean, Gavin Lux has had those errors. Max Muncy booted one that cost them a game. So I'm going to give the defense a C. How about the fan grade? The fan grade, I would say, would probably be a D minus for defense. 75% of the world is covered in water. The rest, covered by Cody Bellinger. There it is. Nice. All right. And Dave Roberts, fan grade and your grade. I think Dave Roberts, first I'll start with mine, because, you know, I've been known to be a Doc defender, but I also keep it real with Doc. I criticize him when I think he deserves it. I always say he has to win two rings to win his first ring to win over this fan base. But I think he's pushed a lot of the right buttons lately, especially when it comes to bullpen management, Mm -hmm. like what I've seen with Doc. And we consider that the Dodgers have been decimated by injuries once again. They lose Mookie Betts, their MVP candidate, for a pretty significant amount of time. You saw they lose Walker, their best pitcher, their ace, their opening day starter, Walker (laughs) Bueller lost his best pitch, and yet he still keeps the morale up in that clubhouse. He keeps things fun. You saw him talking to Gavin Lux in that that interesting way. I don't know what that was about, but yeah, his his players like to play for him. Yeah, his players do play for him, so I think I'm going to get Dave Roberts' best record in the National League. I'm going to give him an A. All right. How would you guys grade my hosting skills? Oh, right oh, E for Eric. Yeah. Nice. A plus, Wait, that's plus, plus. A D and a, yeah, you're my guy. Yeah. I, I knew you'd come through for me. All right, folks, we'll wrap it up here. Your one big concern, stealing it from Scott Van Pelt instead of one big thing. It's one bad thing. I need one thing from each of you guys. If someone steals yours, you got to pick something else. Doug, I'm going to start with you. Oh, thank God. Wasn't ready. It's without question the health of the starting pitching. We talked about yeah. Gonsolin's innings count. You talk about Will Walker, Beeler come back and pitch anywhere close to where he was last season. Will Clayton Kershaw a hold up? Will Dustin May come back coming off of Tommy John surgery and find a way to pitch well? Danny Duffy. It's a lot of question marks with this starting rotation. So to me, there's no question. We're talking about grades after the August second deadline. You got to drop your pens, right? You can't you can't change your answers, right? So to me, that's the big concern about do you get pitching now because there could be some health concerns, but no question, it's the health of the starting rotation. Did he say uh, drop your pants? 
Because he's not wearing underwear. He's not wearing underwear today, no. You gave me a huge SAT Can you guys flashback see that? with that, by the way. They can't. Don't worry about it. It's The table's just okay. high enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't gonna, see it, guys. That's cool. I'm going to pull a pinch hit. It was supposed to be Clint, but I want, I want to hear from Danny Duffy's biggest fan and biggest believer, Brooke, which is one bad thing. My one bad thing? You think it's about Danny Duffy? No, I was using that as a segue. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, the problem is, so I'm similar to Doug. It's not going to be the same thing. I'm similar to Doug. My one big concern is roster. Because of the way this roster is built right now, because of the number of the guys who are on the 60-day IL, and because of the number of guys who are coming back, you're now in a position where the Dodgers might be thinking, like, we can't make a move. There isn't anything we can do. We don't have space to make this happen. And if we do, we're going to lose out on prospects. We're going to lose out on potential. We're going to lose out on guys like Trace Thompson, Jake Lamb, things like that. Eddie they Alvarez. might be in a position. Well, we might be in a position now <laughs> where they're like, we just can't make moves. We're just not going mm-hmm. to. We're going to stick with what we have and hope for the best and hope that all those guys come back healthy and hope that we have those guys for the end of the year. Because if they don't, like Doug said, pencils down. It's too late. Yeah. One bad thing. One bad thing. I mean, you guys nailed both of them. So I'll, I'll, I'll look at the bullpen. You got to worry about that, that closers role. You lost Dan Hudson for the season. That's a big blow because he was really your secondary guy. Craig Kimbrell, the crumble master has not looked great. Even if some numbers, as we talked about on the last blue heaven, some numbers paint a different picture of he should be a lot better, but how long until (laughs) The clock strikes midnight on the burrito, on which it already kind of did, on Phil Bickford, on Vesia, on a lot of these Jags before Dustin May comes back, before whatever the hell you get out of Danny Duffy. A lot of little concerns all around this team. Still, best record in NL. Well, that'll do it, folks. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Make sure to subscribe, rate, review to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Turn that notification bell. It really helps out the channel. Also, we have a Dodgers Nation TikTok. It's brand new. Make sure to head over there. Check it out. Doug and Cody put a ton of great stuff up there. Thank you to Cody Liu, our producer over there, the man behind the curtain. But thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you next week on another edition of the Dodgers Nation Roundtable. Uh